Hey, good evening, church. I hope your day's been a good one. My day's been a good one so far because it feels like fall. The, the cool air is here, and I, I, I love that cool fall air. I turned off that stinking thing back there, and I opened up the window to let the nice, cool, comfortable air in. And, and since the window's open, you might hear some, some car noises. I'm sorry about that, but I'm not closing my window because... Dang it, I hate the heat. But anyway, you know, uh, another thing about, you know, fall is in the air. You know what else that means? It means Pastor Appreciation Month is coming up. Yes, that's in October. And I've actually been wanting to make this video for a while now because um, probably, oh, better part of a month ago, I saw this, this video. It kind of went a little viral about this pastor. I think it was down in Kansas City um, who in, in his sermon was berating his congregation because they didn't get him an expensive watch. Uh, just, just, just berating them, uh, calling them all sorts of names. Because like as, last year, I guess he had asked for this really expensive watch. It was like several hundred dollars for a stinking watch. He, he told the congregation that he wanted one, and he was upset that you know, it was August, and, and, and he still hadn't received one, and just really just being mean and nasty to this congregation. And I thought, okay, well... Uh, I'm in the business about calling out Pastor Bullcrap. Um, so I'm going to make a video about this and telling you what I, what I want from, for, for Pastor Appreciation Month. Uh, you know, uh, and saying that this, 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 I'll never ask you for anything like that. Uh, so I wanted to tell you what I would really love the most. Uh, if you want to show your appreciation for your pastor. But then I thought, you know, hey. Why just give my perspective? How about I ask a bunch of other pastors, what would they want for Pastor Appreciation Month? So I got on one of my clergy sites and uh, my clergy uh, pages and, and I asked, hey, what do you guys want? What do you guys want for your Pastor Appreciation Month? And, and, and I got quite a few responses and I want to share a few of them here with you today. Um, this was one that I got a couple of different iterations of. Several people said this. Um, Notes from the congregation that let me know something specific that, that they appreciated from me as their pastor. Like, you know, how God has used me in their life. Those, those are big, good one things. Uh, one shared that they, uh, one time that uh, the, their congregation would give to their pastors, it was a multi-pastor church, the congregation would give to the pastors a gift basket on Holy Week. Um, and it had daily things to unwrap uh, and, and scripture passages for encouragement. You know, they had symbolic things like a packet of seeds to symbolize uh, growth and beauty, had coffee and chocolate for energy and sustenance, and so on and so forth. Um, I have another uh, colleague who actually uh, said that their congregation one time did for the month of October, like 31 days of, of giving gifts, where there were you know, people in the congregation uh, every day would send a word of encouragement, take them out to lunch, give them a, a gift, something like that. I'm like, hey, Park Church did that for me, like my first or second year here. That, that's a great idea. That's awesome stuff. Um, another was, uh, it said, not a pastor appreciation month thing but they really appreciate it uh when the congregation remembers their ordination anniversary um you know makes you know, kind of just make a little like hey congratulations on another year woot um little little uh just a little thank you there and congratulations um they went on to say a time i felt most appreciated was when i received a plant that was covered in cards and gift cards it was an outpouring of love and excitement and the plant lives in my office even when the plant dies, the pot is beautiful, and I will plant something new in it. Um, one said, "I'll take a massage gift card, please." Yeah, most of us, uh, most of us pastors carry around quite a lot of tension in the old shoulder areas and whatnot. Um, these and, and a lot of a lot of great uh, accounts of you know things that uh, churches had done uh, and things like that. Just little little little. Uh, notes of encouragement, little bits of saying, hey, I, I appreciate you. Uh, but my, my favorite comment that I really liked said, uh, there's this, this two things. Said, One, show up for worship, for events in the life of the, for events in the life of the church, uh, for the youth of the children of the church, for their, 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 their concerts and games, etc. cetera. Uh, and then two, read the communications sent to them so they're in the loop. And uh, yeah, those two, especially the first, uh, that's something that almost every pastor that I've ever met, that's a, it's, it's a frustration that gets shared that, man, 
folks just aren't showing up for stuff, you know. Worship attendance is down, and every congregation seems like worship attendance is down. Attendance for uh, things outside of Sunday morning, like uh, you know, extra worship services or uh, discipleship classes, like what we do on Wednesday night, um, you know, uh, all that kind of stuff. And it seems to be real down. Um, and I haven't encountered a huge problem with with the second one, the read the communication that's sent to them. Uh, but that's a that's a real common uh, issue. And I would really love I really love uh, if everyone would do both of those things. But I would add add mine. What I truly want from what want from, uh, from the congregation for Pastor Appreciation Month. I want more than anything else if you were to show your appreciation of me. First off, just a note of thanks, a hey recognition, and hey, this is the way that you help. This is a way that uh, you affected my life. <clears throat> Tell you what, that that goes a long way. That sticks with the pastor. Um, but also, for everyone to take their discipleship just a little more seriously, we can all do better about that. You know, and focus more of our time, more of our energy to living as disciples every day. Um, and to really just kind of be more conversant in our faith and sharing our faith even amongst uh, those in the congregation. There's another thing, though, that I want to add. And it's, not, it's, it's a request for pastors. Uh, it's a request on the, path, on the behalf of pastors everywhere. I got so many comments of pastors saying, I don't think my church knows this exists. So many comments saying, I wish they would do anything to show me that I am even a little bit appreciated. So here's another thing that I'm, a request I'm making of you on behalf of pastors everywhere. If you have friends that go to church, friends, family, neighbors, whatever, uh, Facebook friends you haven't actually talked to, but you know that, they're, that they go to church, they go to a church somewhere. Send this video to them. Send this video to them. Let them know that October is Pastor Appreciation Month. Ask them, does your church do anything to recognize this in any way? Uh, be it in October or a different time of the year, is there something in place where your congregation shows your pastor that you appreciate them? And if they don't, I've just given you a list. I've given them a a list of a bunch of great ways to appreciate your pastor. Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for all those who are who have answered the call to your service as pastors, as congregational leaders. Uh, we thank you for not only pastors, but but everyone for elders, deacons, uh, whatever the polity language may be. Those who are who are uh, ministering in your in your church as well. Lord, we ask that. Uh, you give all of us who uh, are in this odd and wondrous calling uh, just a little, a little more uh, added measure of grace and endurance uh, and joy in what we do. Lord, for those pastors who feel underappreciated or unappreciated, Lord, let them get a little glimpse of truly the the joyful impact that they are making on their on their on your disciples and on the people of the world. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Thanks a lot for tuning in, folks. Uh, you know, I, I, I really appreciated uh, getting all these responses. And I can, uh, we pastors are really bad at advocating for ourselves. Um, but I, I'm glad I have an opportunity to advocate on behalf of other pastors. Because I will say uh, the folks at Park Church have been, doing great, have been doing a great job in the past, what, five years of uh, saying, hey, we appreciate you. So send this to someone. I'm not even going to say if you found this beneficial. Send this to someone that you know goes to church. Make sure that they're doing what they can to show their pastor they are appreciated. Take care of yourselves out there. Take care of one another. I'll see you next time.